the most beautiful animals are definitely not the most important, but they do get the limelight, unfortunately. Hi, I'm Dr. Alex Boma, and I am the director of natural history here at On the Edge. So one stereotypically ugly animal within Europe that I think really needs a lot more attention kind of paid to it is the angel shark. They are, bless them, not the prettiest of sharks, but also because sharks naturally um, have this kind of air of scariness about them and elusiveness. Angel sharks can be found all over Europe and they have an amazing role in their ecosystems. Their ecosystems are very delicately balanced and them being a predator help to continue to preserve that balance. But unfortunately, their numbers are dwindling because they're just not getting the time and attention that they deserve. So let's take the example of bumblebees and wasps, for instance. Everyone looks at the bumblebee, this kind of fuzzy little pollinator that we really relate to its work ethic. And I think wasps becoming almost this nasty creature, this kind of annoyance, was really because people didn't understand their role. So we've almost created this villain-esque kind of imagineering about wasps Whereas we've reinvented that for bees who can also sting, choose not to as often, um, but because they are more cute, cuddly, and we see their role within our lives. So they're apex predators. So they help us with pest control. They get rid of caterpillars, spiders, green flies that kind of wreak havoc on, on crops and our gardens. And they need our attention just as much as those cuddly little chunky bees um, that we see campaigns about every day of the week. So PR for those animals that we find annoying or scary or irritating, um, we really just need to change the narrative. That's how we protect them. But what On the Edge is really about is championing the underdogs and making those species that are on the brink of existence and there are no others like them visible to the rest of the world. So what we do is we look at innovating means of storytelling to connect with a lot of different audiences. So this is engaging on gaming platforms. This is having a digital campaign. This is movies, TV shows, as well as community and public engagement. We're taking a very broad stroke approach and really looking at telling stories about species that you've just never heard of before. I have the best job in the world. We collaborate with individuals in country to say, what are the priorities? What are the species that we need to be engaging with? Who are the communities we need to be turning to? And you tell us how we do that, and we will support you on your journeys.